very good evening to all our mentorship traders. Friday evening, like always, 14th of October 2022, 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And uh, difficult times, difficult markets continues. I was taking a look at the U.S. markets today as they opened and after a huge bounce back, like really sharp bounce back in yesterday's trade, today it has kind of opened weak and consolidating or correcting after this bounce back. So most of the U.S. indices are negative. Uh, SGX is close to 100 points down, again, nearing that 17,100 level. Uh, crude is interesting. It's down almost close to 4%. has crashed after yesterday's bounce back. As much gains that it saw yesterday, it's giving back completely uh, all of it in today's trade so far. But that's the global markets. Let's bring our attention now to the Nifty Bank, Nifty and few sectors. Now, I have three uh, time frames on my charts. Uh, weekly on the left-hand side, daily on the middle, 75 minute on the right-hand side. As you know, 75, we are using it for the identification of short-term trend, intermediate trend coming in from the daily time frame, and long-term trend coming in from the weekly time frame. Our usual tools are plotted here, T1, T2, the moving averages, momentum, all the trends. Um, then we have uh, the other, the Heike Nashi, which we generally use to spot um, our trade, the entry point, we spot the entry point. Then we have short-term uh, volatility and momentum indicators. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the weekly chart first, the, the left-hand side one. Um, after this divergence, we had a three-week correction. Last week was a much-needed bounce back. But this week, as you can see, a small little flag here, which is suggesting to me that this week was an inside bar. This bar, uh, this inside bar means this week's range has completely been within last week's range. A sign of range contraction, generally range contracts in these kind of situations, which means uh, we should get some, some trending move sooner or later next week or even next to next week as we uh, approach uh, more trading. But um, what has happened is the T1 on the weekly time frame has turned down, T2 is still holding. What this means is the short term trend on the weekly time frame or the short term averages on the weekly time frame has turned down. Um, the next set of moving averages holding. What this in simple language means is the uptrend is still there, but it's losing momentum. It's losing strength. It needs to scale back to a higher, high, higher low formation on the weekly charts to bring back some positive sentiment back into the market. But not bearish yet. The weekly, the larger time frames is not bearish yet. I would say that it's kind of slowly getting into a, a make or break. 16, um, uh, 700, 800 levels down here. And the recent highs, I think it needs to give us some, some kind of a move beyond this. The, uh, the daily chart, now the middle one, which we're using for an intermediate time frame, trend is definitely down. If you remember this anchored VWAP that had uh, respected, uh, prices had respected this anchored VWAP really well in the past, is actually now respecting as a resistance. This is like um, a very lucky unanchored VWAP that we have on our charts and prices seems to be respecting this uh, tool really well. So you can see the anchored VWAP on the top in this red and an anchored VWAP in the blue. And that's where I think the index is now. It's completely stuck in this kind of a range. Today's huge, almost 300 points gap up was highly disappointing towards the close. And if we go by, we just saw that SGX was down 100 points, close to 100 points, then we might be, and if that stays, we might be heading for further disappointment on Monday morning, but that's later. Uh, what can we make out of the weekly uh, of the daily charts? Uh, trend is down, not not a good sign. Intraday volatility is on the higher side. It's kind of gone to a pretty wide range, and that's why we are we have to kind of acquaint ourselves with frequent gap ups and gap downs. Uh, not good for position on short term traders. Uh, fine with intraday traders, they won't uh, they won't mind. Uh, but in days like today, when the market opens 250, almost 300 points up, very little to do after that because of the range expansion we get. So, this 
अनसर्टनिटी है हाइटन स्टेट ऑफ इंट्राडे वोलाटिलिटी इट मेक्स लाइफ डिफिकल्ट फॉर द शॉर्ट टर्म ट्रेडर्स नो डाउट and the solution that i always share for this kind of situation is trade less in terms of number of trades trade less in terms of the quantity that you trade um and try and uh, trade only those strategy setups wherein you have your highest conviction compulsive impulsive trading in this kind of market conditions uh, high guarantee that you will land up making losses so daily chart does not give us that conviction uh, daily chart mein kuch kuch levels hai, which are extremely important if you remember yesterday i spoke about that uh, that that trap and so any kind of a fall below this i think the index will will be gone for some decent amount of time this is very important lows because after the real sell off after this real sell off the index has finally made a a, a higher fractal low this is a fractal low this is also an almost going to be a fractal low so ye jo higher fractal low hai this is very important for the index to hold because if this goes ye to jana hi hoga then in that case however we are at 17200 almost this is uh, around 16900 so acha khasa 300 point ka difference hai we have some time but the good thing is uh if it reverses and takes out today's high jahan se selling aaya which was very close to the size then 17400 and above we we are then probably looking at a 1 2 3 kind of a wave on the upside in that case the index will but obvious at attempt 7800 7, 7900 so surely slowly but surely index from the intermediate time frame from this particular time frame एक रेंज में तो है इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर इन अ रेंज बट इट नीड्स टू गिव दैट रेंज ब्रेकआउट ओके नाउ लेट्स कम टू द स्मॉलर टाइम फ्रेम एंड द स्मॉलर टाइम फ्रेम 75 मिनट्स थैंक्स टू द वेरी ओपनिंग बार द जस्ट द ओपनिंग बार वाज इनफ फॉर द ट्रेंड रिवर्सल बट देन इट वाज कंप्लीट यू नो वेस्ट ऑफ द द गेन्स दैट द इंडेक्स गिव हाउएवर um वी हैव टू डील विद दिस मोमेंटम हैज डेफिनेटली इंप्रूव्ड अभी मंडे यही देखना है द फर्स्ट hour of monday straight primarily would be to see that did we open week and did we open week then did we bounce back etc and all those things but i think the the difficulty in short term trading will continue okay do you make sense the higher time frames is is still okay we should maintain a bullish bias uh soon within the next couple of weeks you're going to get a breakout lower time frame is down but bearishness stance should be more than bullishness stance uh, and volatile that is making our lives little difficult so i would say primarily bearish until proven wrong which should be today's high 17400 uh, near about and if it slips below today's low and back to that 17k mark then i think we should brace ourselves for some weakness uh, bank nifty as you can see also kind of slipped but bank nifty fared most of the days trade bank nifty fared better today only the last 75 minute time frame was actually a negative bar so bank still did all right uh, on the higher time frame weekly charts by bank nifty also has created a um, an inside bar ab ye jo inside bar hai especially for the bank nifty whose trend is so beautifully still poised it raises more opportunity more chances of a breakout on the upside in other words bank nifty ka jo weekly chart hai bank nifty ka jo in fact daily 75 what whichever time frame i'm looking at for the bank nifty it's giving me a bit of more bullish tendency than what nifty was giving me so i think this week's range move above or below i think is very important for the bank nifty in terms of the chart uh it can give us a break above that because it's not too far away from that breakout level um, however you know you never know the markets can disappoint us <clears throat> on the downside if this happens if the second case happens then it will mean that the index is going through a 1 2 3 kind of a correction fir to aap aaram se is 37000 and more lower levels hum log pakad ke tab kaam karenge if this week's low is compromised or else i think market will find it very relatively very easier to continue further rally towards 40k and above so 40k on the upside 
And today's this week's low, which is 38,500 on the downside for the bank nifty. Now, as we always check, we will go to stockcharts.com and we have a bar NAC sectors co view kalete as in RRG graphs. When your RRG graphs open, never forget to change them to CNX 500 and update it, and then you can fit in your graphs. So, from a one week's perspective, if I sort in terms of percentage change, then nothing much apart from CNX IT. Achha, okay, finally, ID it has moved into the improving quadrant and shown some strength, but marginally positive, followed by the private banks and bank nifty. Majority of the sectors were actually down and out, especially we have the real estate, the media, energy, reliance was a big disappointment in today's trade, both oil and gas energy, reliance plays a big role. And then we have Tata Consumers, Metal, PSU Banks. Okay, by the way, if you can notice, bring your attention here. This week, PSU Banks were down 2.3%, whereas the Nifty Private Banks were up. Marginally though, but there's this, this spread is quite a bit. This is quite a bit spread. So uh, Axis Bank was phenomenal uh, and it held really well. Uh, kudos to that. So Nifty is a little over half a percent down and uh, overall, uh, pharma and healthcare also stayed down this week, which is okay, fine. Now, what is important is to check from a, let's say, a quarterly perspective in terms of the tape. I'll fit it here. And uh, what I like is IT has moved into the improving, so has the metal. Media small cap doesn't mean too much, but metal and IT, these two sectors have moved into an improving. Now, you can see IT is zigzagging itself over here kind of really trying to find the ground and not fall any further and improve on look CNX IT ka chart dekhenge. Metal on the other hand is, on the other hand is phenomenally pretty. It doesn't get any cleaner than this. Um, gain of the momentum brings, uh, starts to bring gain of the relative strength. Now it's knocking the door of the leading quadrant. So we'll take a look at CNX metal also. So chali, ek bar, let's take a look at CNX IT. Now, IT has been underperforming that we all know. IT has been creating some double, triple uh, bottoms down here. Um, by the way, third consecutive mildly positive weeks for uh, CNX IT. You notice not noticed but for three weeks, the index is actually going up. Uh, daily chart has just started to improve really well. So, here I think the index has potential to carry itself further up towards that your last bounce back, the last meaningful bounce back up close to that 30k mark. Pe pe aa sakta hai. So all eyes on stocks like Enforcers, TCS, HCL, Tech, Tech, Mind, Rubber, Pro, etc. Right, IT is improving and can give us some further improvement. Um, the other one that we were talking about is the metal. Now, CNX metal is one of the biggest gainers over the last 12 to 13 weeks uh, time frame. But when we take a look at the CNX metal index, uh, beautiful rally, beautiful trend reversal, Short term correction up, down, up, and down. Now, this brings a little bit of question to me, to my mind is it is an, it is a inside bar, beautiful looking Haikanashi. And uh, by chance, if this is uh, next week, then this outperforming sector can actually slow down a little bit more than it will turn out to be a zigzag. A complicated or complex correction, not complicated, a complex correction. Daily chart, V Vesahi could signal the right. It is in a downtrend, clearly has established some resistances. So, sooner means if you see today's uh, bar where it opened, I'm sorry, where it opened and where it has closed. So, this high is supremely important for any kind of bullishness. If it doesn't cover 5,900, uh, metals mein ko short dhuna, chalu karna padega. So one sector which is actually knocking the leading quadrant is actually in terms of price not looking that great, which means it's getting tired. Okay. Uh, amongst the uh, tails which are positive, which are leading, banks are still there. You have PSU Bank, private banks, Bank Nifty, financial services. They're all positive, so we can, and we saw that, by the way, we just saw that Bank Nifty is looking far better than the Nifty. So, if this bazaar decides that I don't want to come, come down, I want to break out, break out on the upside, I'm quite sure it will, the leadership has to come from the banks and the Bank Nifty financials. 
So don't keep any doubts on that. Um, we spoke about auto and FMCG, which is a slow down or it's weakening, remember? Auto, FMCG and consumer durables. Uh, let's take a look at auto and FMCG once. If you take a look at the CNX auto, then you can clearly see this. By the way, mentorship readers, Wednesday's morning class, if you have joined, we spoke about two major uh, four-wheeler stocks, Maruti and Mahindra and Mahindra. Uh, of which I think both still have the potential to cool off a little bit. Ye cool off apne ko weekly charts mein dikh rahe. Very, very nice, well-established trend. I am still considering this as a short-term correction in a long-term uptrend. No doubt about it. The important thing would be dekhna ye padega ke ye range breakdown dekhta hai ke nahi. Another day, another sector, I'm sorry, wherein you can see where it opened and where it closed. These are the sectors which actually dragged the index significantly down in today's trade. CNX auto almost closing towards the lowest point of the day. Uh, and we saw that happening in CNX metal also. So a little careful. Uh, pe, agar aapko long jana hai, toh, for a long term point of view, please. And from a trading point of view, I think it makes sense to look for shorting opportunities. And then we'll take a look at CNX FMCG. Now, FMCG on the daily chart has also uh, come off quite a bit and it has moved into a downtrend, well established downtrend, pretty decent momentum on the higher time frame. Uh, weekly charts, as you can see, a big outside bar. You see this outside bar, which creates a new high, and then immediately the prices comes down and breaks the low of the outside bar. So this is a sign of uh, kind of a trap on the upside, and the prices may, uh, you know, correct further down. So I will continue to hold to our views that FMCG auto long term pictures are fine. Agar aapko long term portfolio mein karizna, wait for corrections. Short-term traders, I think, in Dono sector, ko, you can look into them as an opportunity to sell on a rise, pull back short, we can look at these sectors. But IT, will it play an important role? Will it gain possibility of close to uh, a 5 to 10 percent kind of a rally? The markets will not mind. Banks, Bank Nifty, financial services are holding well, much better than the others. So if any kind of rally comes, please focus on this pocket. But it's reliance. We'll talk about reliance and move on to your questions and doubts, which is a, an important stock, which is an important index heavyweight. And when you have an index heavyweight, which opens significantly up, a huge gap up and then closes right at the lowest point of the day, sells off like this after a beautiful two bar divergence on the 75 minute time frame. It calls for some, some worry. My worry with Reliance, I think we have discussed this, is from the weekly chart, this one. And uh, it did trap the shots a little bit, causing a short term bounce back. But then it's again opening up on the downside. This is not good news. If it breaks down further below this week's low, then I think uh, we need to work with 23, maybe 22. Hundred and that's not good news for Reliance. That's not that's not good news for the sector, and of course that's not good news for the overall markets. So difficult times, as we discussed, are going to stay. Kuch, kuch nahi hai. We just have to deal with this. Maybe uh, considering I was of the opinion three four months back that Diwali Mohra trading ke aspas the market will consolidate, the correction will be over. And buying will emerge. Buying kuch usse pehle emerge ho gaya, which we saw in this move. And now maybe the rest of this year might go consolidating this rally. Is it the case? Is it going to be the case? Let's see. But uh, whatever be it, rally or breakout, please trade cautiously, carefully, preserve your capital, wait for the trend to get established, and then it will be much more easier than. What are the conditions right now? Okay, so that's that's it for the market and the sectors. Now, like we always do, let's move on to your doubts and questions. <laughs> 